What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be starting a brand new series. It is going to be called R4T Rigs. Kind of like MTV Cribs, but you know, with trucks. So today we're going to be showing you guys Patrick's Tacoma. So in, the, in this series, we're going to be showing you guys cool trucks. And then of course, talk to the owners of the trucks and why they did the mods that they did and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. So over here, we have Patrick. Say hi, Patrick. What's up? So How you he doing? is the owner of this quicksand Tacoma. He's gonna be talking to us about all the trucks or all the mods that he did on his truck. So I'm gonna flip this around and talk to him. All right, Patrick. So let's start in the front here. So obviously you have a lot done to your Tacoma. Kind of go over a few things and show you us why you did what you did. So, let's start in the front. So what bumper is this? Cool, this is the CBI Baja bumper for the Toyota Tacoma. All right, um, is this aluminum or steel? It is steel. So it's a little bit heavy? A little bit heavy, but went with it for strength over the aluminum. Okay, as far as fog lights, what we got here? We have the Morimoto four bangers, and I also have that for my ditch lights and light bar on the roof rack. All right, so I know these are pretty new, but how far or how good is the output? Output compared to other brands in the market, top tier. Very cool. Very, Very happy cool. with them. I like them. So you got amber and white on top here. Did you do that for any specific reason? Yeah, so I did the dual amber and then a white combo. Just so if I just need a marker light in the front, I have amber. You know, and for like close up light, if I need something that's a little bit further, I got the spots in the middle and that really brightens up the road way ahead of you. So you can see when you're night wheeling or just driving fast at night. Cool. All right. So um, while we're in the front here, headlights, what do we got here? Got the Alpha X Nova in black. So the black will be a black housing obviously but it'll have the clear drl the alpha black version will be smoked drl and then as you can see here a little bit of chrome around each projector that will be black on the alpha black version but in my opinion i kind of like the regular black just so you can see the drl during the daytime so it's not just a black headlight but uh but yeah it looks good in the front here you got different colored letters what is this who you got here with you we got mr twan other twan what's going on right here hmm? <laughs> <laughs> okay so the grill trd pro grill obviously on this is an off-road right trd off-road yep okay you got color matched letters where'd you get this from from hmm? running for tacos of course <laughs> yep same with the grill lights oh yeah you can barely see the grill lights there because this is the smoked amber, right? Yeah. Cool. Smoked amber. I forgot to ask, is there a winch? You don't have a light bar in here either? No light bar, no winch yet. All right. So cool. Moving on to the side here. So let's we'll talk about suspension. Flip on my light here. Ah, there we go. Suspension, what do you got here? I got the Fox 2.5 with remote reservoirs, non-DSC nice. for the front paired with SPC adjustable upper control arms. Okay. Those are probably our favorite upper control arms for kind of a daily and weekender type build. Um, wheels, what do we got here? Got the SCS Ray 10, negative 38 gunmetal. And Super then wrapped around aggressive. that are the 35 inch BF Goodrich KM3. These are 35, true 35s? Hmm? These are the true 35s? True 35s. Nice. <clears throat> And then, of course, you got to chop to fit the 35s. Oh, yeah. Okay, so as you guys can see there, pretty aggressive chop. So if you guys want to go 35s, you're going to have to do a lot of trimming, so be prepared for that. If you I guys still do. have a lot more to do. Do you? Oh, yeah. All right. Up here, what is this, Air Raid? Air Raid Snorkel. Okay, how do you like the Air Raid compared to like a ARB uh, Safari or Dobinson Snorkel? I love how sleek it is and that it follows the body line mm -hmm. and it's not as tall as the OEM TRD snorkel. So looks good. 
and I love the yellow logo. I'm a big fan of yellow, so. Kind of matches the quicksand too. Yeah, that's why I have the yellow four for the Running for Tacos banner. Mm. That looks good. All right, off to the side, you got side markers. Yep, we got the signals. Running for Taco sequential turn signals. Cool. Which so we have plenty in stock. Nice. These are smoked as well, so it matches kind of like the whole, you know, theme you got going on here. So as far as the roof rack, what is this? We have the Prince Sue Designs roof rack for right. a double cap Tacoma. How do you like the Prince Sue? I love it. Simple design. Everything works. It's solid and stable. Cool. And you got some max tracks up here got some max tracks with r4t hardware you would use the the four tie downs that come with your printed roof rack and we supply four bolts and you can attach your max tracks to your roof cool so you don't need the max tracks pins because if you guys have been looking that's been a pretty big shortage on that mm -hmm. so let's work our way to the back here so you don't have sliders yet no sliders so yet are we, are you waiting for the running for taco sliders? Waiting for running for taco sliders. The only way to go. Cool. All right. So get some sliders on there. Oh, we forgot to talk about the skid plates. Oh yeah. Let's go back up there. <laughs> skid plates. What we got? We got CBI skid plates. Okay. Uh, the full kit. So it's the front and rear. All right. And is I this the this, aluminum? I have it in aluminum TRD gray. Cool. So what made you go with aluminum versus like uh, the steel? Went with the aluminum because I have a lot of weight already for the front and rear steel bumpers. You know, try to save um, some weight somewhere on the truck. So far it's taking up a lot of abuse that I've put, put them through and they're holding up. So solid for Very aluminum cool. skids. Very cool. All right, let's work our way to the back here. So back here you have a bed rack and a rooftop tent. So this is the CBI one, obviously. How do you like the CBI bed rack? I love the CBI Overland bed rack. It's solid. I love the tube design and how it angles towards the rear. Yeah, These things good. are built like rock sliders. Never moved on, you know, never moved for me. Super solid, no noises. So far, happy with it. Yeah, it looks rock solid too. Mm -hmm. As far as the tent, obviously Free Spirit, FSR, tent so this fits the the bed rack really well mm -hmm. so how do you like this tent is this Honestly, the tri-layer is this the tri-layer tent yeah the tri-layer cool so have you been in pretty cold nights with this not super cold but windy and that brought it down to like the 40s and once you get into the tent it really blocks that wind so you can't feel the wind so cool. the big difference even you've, for a, a, you've had a, an eye camper on here before. How does that compare to the eye camper as far as like comfort, um, resisting the cold and the wind? Not gonna lie, um, I, I love this tent a lot more. The mattress is comfier. I like a stiffer mattress. Mm. Um, when it comes to speed of opening the tent, if you're if you're a seasoned rooftop tent camper and you know how to do it, it's really easy. So I know a lot of people um, compare soft toppers and hard toppers, but I can open and shut this tent pretty quick, just as I can with my iCamper Mini. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit more work with all the extra buckles here and there. Yeah. But other than that, super solid tent. Yeah. What's the size of the mattress when you open it up? Is it bigger than the iCamper? It is bigger than the iCamper. Okay, so that's another big plus. Yeah. So very It's wider cool. and slightly longer. Okay. I like it. I like that it has a black back too. Mm -hmm. So back here, you don't have tail lights yet. Which tail lights are you planning on going with? We're going with the the Miso Customs and Morimoto tail lights in red. Right, right now, I have the stock tail lights with the Miso Total Tail Stage One. Okay. Oh yeah. So, so the turn there. signals are down there. Nice. And then you get the full C, right? The full C for the brake lights and turn signals. Or Very just kidding, cool. not the turn signals. Those are down there. Oh yeah, yep, yep. But yeah, look at, you can see the stance on this negative 38 offset wheel. So pretty wide. I know a lot of you guys are going for that look. So negative 38 is definitely the way to go if you don't want to run spacers, but it is going to come with a lot of trimming in the front. So just be prepared for that. 
All right, so this rear bumper, this is, what bumper is this? This is the CBI high clearance dual swing out bumper. All right, so what, what is this? Is this supposed to be for a high lift over here? Yeah, that's for the high lift. I think you can put jerry cans and other stuff there. Okay. I don't really plan on doing that yet. All right. All I really wanted it was to hold my spare yeah. to get some more room in the bed. Okay. But if you wanted to go on trips and stuff like mm -hmm. that, you are ready for that right exactly. away. Exactly. Cool. Exactly. Can you show us how to pop this guy open yeah. or how it, it functions? Oh, very nice. So if you guys don't know, I have a single swing on mine. So it's, uh, I wish I had the dual. So uh, maybe soon, very soon. But here it is, fully opened here. Is this steel as well? Yeah, steel. Okay. So pretty cool here. This is the tire carrier. Do they make a drop down table that folds yeah, down? Yeah, they make a table for this, the passenger side and the driver's side. Oh, cool. Passenger side table will be about as wide as this. Mm -hmm. And then driver's side will be a little bit smaller, but it's still a nice table to have. Yeah. And is that something that you're planning on getting? Yeah, I plan on doing at least one of the tables just to have, you know, some extra space in the back. And Very it cool. will, you will be able to use the table while your, ta while, your, while your tailgate is down. Okay. Very cool. All right. So back here we talk about the suspension since it is a little bit different so back here looks like some fox as well yeah those are the fox 2.0 with a cd adjuster so a single compression only okay um, paired with the icon rxt leaf pack at option three all right so for those who don't know icon rxt has the ability to adjust um, the leaf pack so that way you can add more leaves as you get heavier but here's a side profile of the truck. So this is the most amount of leaves you have, or you can have yeah. in the RXTs? Okay, mm -hmm. cool. So that's what it looks like with the bed rack and the tent. All right, so now that we have covered pretty much everything on the outside, let's take a look inside here. So inside, what do we got here? So we got some Cali raised center console Molly panels on the sides, just, you know, holds radios and whatever else you can throw at it. All right, and then up here, you got some, what is this? Just some white LED bulbs, VLEDs. Okay. And then we got, we got the Miso dual color dome white. Cool, and with that one, you can change the color from yeah. white to red. Oh, very nice. So obviously red is for like, when you're camping, you don't want all the bugs in here, right? Exactly. Cool. Keeps the bugs out, but you can still see. What do we got back here? We got the Blue Ridge Overland Gear Tacoma Attic. I use the um, Brog Attic to like carry some ponchos in case it gets cold. You throw sleeping bags, pillows, whatever you want up there. That's cool. It doesn't seem like it interferes too much back here. Obviously, the Tacoma already has a very small back seat, even with the double cab. But uh, but yeah, this is pretty high up, so pretty useful to get it up off the seat. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've gone pretty much through everything so far so yep. let's ask a couple questions here so as far as the Tacoma what made you want to pick the Tacoma so I first had a 2019 Forerunner had a an accident last year that totaled it so it was a great opportunity for me to get a Tacoma I've been wanting one since the beginning but I couldn't find anything that I liked and then when this rolled around you know it was meant to be Okay. I've always wanted a truck bed, so. Very cool. So, obviously the truck bed is a big, big plus compared to the Forerunner. Now that you, you're one of the few that has had both, mm -hmm. uh, which do you like more and what's the reason? Personally, for my, for my use, uh, Tacoma is perfect. I don't need that much room for people, but I do have a lot of gear that I might haul, haul with me. Yeah. So that comes in handy with it the bed. It comes in handy, exactly. And then you still have room on the roof rack. Still have room on the roof rack. Very cool. Um, Drive-wise, I love how the Tacoma feels when you're driving it. It's way more nimble. Um, the Forerunner felt more like a boat. I had no issue with it. Yeah. I love the Forerunner. The short wheelbase was fine. Yeah. But how the right. Tacoma drives is a lot nicer. Very cool. Uh, one last question. Do you daily your truck with all your Overland off-road gear on it? And would you recommend other people? 
Yeah, so I daily my truck. Um, all the mods on it are stuff I need to use. So mm -hmm. get what you need and not what looks cool and what everyone has. Mm -hmm. Just to keep it light, um, I do daily it. Still stock gears on 35s. It's OV tuned, so it drives pretty good. Yeah. And I'm still great on gas. I think in the city it's like 15 right now. Well, that's not bad. But obviously the heavier you get, you know, the more wear and tear is on the truck with all the extra weight because the truck's not made for it. Yeah. But yeah, I will say if you do get heavier than this, um, re-gear your truck. <laughs> Yeah, it'll be a sure. lot nicer to drive all right but, well cool yeah. all right guys um thank you patrick so much for going over your truck with us um if you guys are a r4t customer if you guys call us patrick is the person that handles all that so um you guys can talk to him directly emails and everything too but uh that's gonna be it for this one guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video we're gonna be doing more very videos of this series so if you guys like that make sure you guys leave us a comment down below and we'll see you guys next time peace